Good afternoon. Myself, Chad Black with Haversham Work Service and Chef Terrell coming to you for another weekly update. There's been a lot of changes in the last 24 hours. Uh, most of that Sheriff Terrell will talk about <laughs> in reference to the governor's orders. <laughs> but uh, for us, we're still business as usual. Um, everybody's prepared and don't call unless you absolutely need us. Uh, right now our call volumes are down. People are really adhering to that advice. But if you do need us, we really want you to call as always. Uh, if there's ever any doubt, call and be on the safe side versus that. But Chef Terrell, I'll let you cover the big topic. <laughs> well, we got the order from the governor about sheltering in place. And there's been a myriad of questions of, uh, can I go uh, to work? Can I go to the grocery store? Can I carry my sick sister to the, her doctor's appointment next week? And the answer to most of that is yes. The, the, the big thing in this order is they want people out loafing. They want people out uh, just gallivanting and, and uh, uh, grouping up in big areas. Um, I know that um, DNR has said that the parks are open, the lakes are open, but come on folks, please don't just decide you're gonna take off and go to the lake or go hiking because everybody else has got the same idea. Uh, I know one of the videos I did, Atlanta picked it up and I hope they pick this one up and say, because the folks in the mountains don't want the folks in Atlanta coming up here. And Sorry. vice versa. You know, exactly. Our folks don't need to go down there. We've, we've lost nothing down there unless you have a doctor's appointment or an emergency or checking on a family member, whatever it is, going out just to be going out it, the idea is to shelter in place. Don't be going out, just be going out because, oh, we want to go hiking. We want to go to Panther Creek Falls and, and, and hike the trail. Panther Creek is closed. It's not open. As a U.S. Forest Service trail, it is closed. And U.S. Forest Service will be here to enforce that. Our folks will be around to enforce that. I know some of the state parks, the state parks are open, but they're going to try and force the groups of 10 and the six foot limit. And um, so I ask that the folks just stay at home. Uh, if you need to go for a walk, walk in your neighborhood. Walk around your yard. Uh, the shelter in place order is, is not for us to go out and take a vacation again. It's to stay at home. And in that order, he came out with a secondary order that's, that talks about sheriffs being able to enforce that order. Now, the enforcement part of that is we're not going to be stopping cars. We're not going to be asking for your papers. We're not going to be asking why you're out. Um, there's a little thing called the Constitution, and we have to have probable cause to stop cars. So, um, you know, we're not gonna be stopping you, just asking for your papers and why are you here? But if there is a congregation of more than 10 people and uh, y'all are in a close-knit close group and having a big party or doing whatever, then we have the authority to break that party up, even if it's at a business. And if that business doesn't comply with the rules that the governor has set forth, then we have the authority to close that business. Uh, after we talk with the with the, the business and uh, try and get voluntary compliance with this order. So that's the uh, uh, the big deal in this order is we're not gonna be out stopping cars, you're not gonna be written a ticket, you're not gonna get a thousand dollar fine if you're out doing these things. So don't worry about that. I know this afternoon there's been a run on the grocery stores again. Um, and Lord forbid that there ain't no toilet paper nowhere to have for anybody. <laughs> but you know, supplies are still flowing. The grocery stores gonna still have hamburger meat and toilet paper. Um, so you don't have to buy enough food to last a month. Um, you know, there's a lot of folks out there we need to take care of. This is the point where we need to be the church and we need to take care of people who are our neighbors. My mom and dad is not allowed outside and that's my order. So they have to stay at home, but we take their groceries to them. And there's a lot of other folks I know that they're asking their elderly parents and even grandparents to stay at home. Don't get out in this stuff. And uh, you go check on them, you take them their groceries and stuff. And <clears throat> A lot of folks, they check on cows, they check on uh, homes and different things, and that's you can still go do those things um, because you're, you're, you're doing your job. I know there's a big kick about, uh, you know, if you're an essential employee and all this stuff and letters floating around and, you know, um, a lot of people have to work to eat. And, you know, if they, if they don't show up for their job, they're gonna lose their job. They might lose their home. The big, the, the main point is don't be uh, congregating in groups. Don't be going out just to be going out. Uh, Stay at home and shelter in place. Watch movies, have a movie marathon. Watch the Star Wars. It ain't a trilogy no more, it's a, whatever our nine set is. But anyways, do things like that with your family and just stay at home. I know the weather's gonna be beautiful. So we need to resist the urge and stay at home. If we stay at home, we can slow the spread of this COVID and we can try and get back to some resemblance of normalcy, back to baseball and football and all the other stuff that's gonna happen. 
and uh, so that's what we please, please, please ask people just to stay at home. I agree. I can't add anything better. Just hope everybody has a great weekend and as things change, we'll do a weekly update. Um, but it, sometimes it may be twice this thing continues to change. So Absolutely. God bless everybody. Stay safe. And as always, either of our departments, if you've got questions, please get with us. Absolutely. Have a great weekend.